welcome back. Remember this box there? I still have it. It's been a year. And today I am doing a series of maintenance. How difficult it is to do the maintenance on this car. And it's not really difficult. All I need to do is do it. Uh, so, this is what we're going to take care of today. Uh, for the first episode, it's going to be oil change. So, let's get in. So, the first thing uh, about doing the maintenance is changing the oil, obviously. Uh, for that, you have to be under the car to replace the filter, to replace the oil, remove the oil. You have to be under the car. Let me show you the location where that actually is. Okay. So here we are, under the car. It's been running for a little bit for the oil to warm up. And over here is the, I'm sure you can see it. Yeah, this one is the drain. And over here is the filter housing. So I'm going to put this thing in, crack it open and drain the oil. That is a Hex 8. So you'll, you'll know to remove that bolt in the Hex 8. Let's get cracking. And here it goes. Oops, I spilled a little bit. Which is probably going to be a usual thing. Oh shit, that's not cool. Oh, it's just a shit, 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 shit. Well, this scared me for a moment because I thought, thought that there was some kind of part of the engine coming. But it's just a washer. And I made a huge mess. Specifically bought this canister to make less of it, but I guess it's just inevitable. Oh, so when you do get make a mess, because let's be honest, you will make a mess. Uh, I get this specific thing, a kind of kitty litter uh, that will absorb the oil and uh, make it easier to clean up after. So let's take the filter off then. Okay, so I have this housing. I will measure it a bit later. I got it in a... I think I got it on Amazon for a Subaru that I had some time ago. Now it's serving me dual purpose. Yeah, I should have gotten the extension for this. Get ready to make some more mess. Oops. Here comes more mess, of course. This is the car switch filter, so you'll know approximately how that looks like. Oh, 
way. No, I need to clean my hands. Oh crap. Okay, so I'm about to remove this rubber and here's the new filter. I'm just gonna double check that the uh, so here's the filter, it looks exactly like the previous one, and here's the uh, rubber seal. So to remove the old rubber seal, I would suggest having something like this, a toothpick in your <coughs> set of tools, and over here there is a notch, which is gonna make this easier to remove. See, otherwise I would be much more difficult and the same way I'm going to install it. While I'm doing it, I'll tell you a quick little story. So when I got this car, I brought it to a shop to do the oil change. And uh, the guy probably never worked on it Porsche, so when I got the car into the uh, into his garage, he said open the trunk, the hood, he said. So I figured this is going to be fun, so I opened immediately the hood and the trunk. And as we know, there is nothing under the hood. It's a, it's a trunk that you can put storage in it. Actually, you can put both ways. The filter can either go in, it's not directional, it can go either way. Okay. So, he looks at the, at the, uh, that I'm taking a lot of oil from the front of the car where the engine was supposed to be, but there is nothing there. So he gets like, gives me a strange look, says like, okay, open the, the trunk. So I did, and there is nothing. He's like, what am I supposed to do here? Because <laughs> there is no engine in the front or the back. It's actually in the middle. That's what makes it difficult to get into the oil pan because it's under it, but it makes it simple to do everything once you're here. So, wipe that thing off. Still dripping, so I'll let it drip because I have more things to do while I'm, so I can wait until this drips off. But here it is, and uh, I just need to snug it up. Okay, that feels snug. Now I need to get this thing off. Okay. Here it is. Oh good, do not over tighten it. This is plastic. It will easily crack. So, just let it do its thing. Uh, okay. Now, let me show you the top of the car. So here, in the trunk, we have the coolant and the oil fill and the dipstick. I did a very, well actually not, not me, but someone who had the car before me, did a very smart thing and wrote down the oil and the, uh, the amount of oil needed. So it says 9.3 quarts with filter and the oil used 15 uh, W50. And the fun thing about that this car actually has a funnel already built in. So let's let me show you the oil. So here it is. I got this Mobile One 15 W50. Keeps your engine running. This is the oil I used last time. This is the oil I'm using today as well. So I'm just waiting for the oil to drip off and then I'm going to close that hole and fill in the oil. 9.3 quarts. Over here I have 10 quarts, so I have a little bit extra for those cases when I need to fill it, fill it just a little bit more. So I have snug up the, uh, the bolt underneath. Not too tight because you know that's the aluminium. Aluminium can 
strip easily, so I don't want to risk it. I have tendencies to break bolts, so I'm not. I'm just play it safe, snag it up. It worked last time. There was no leaks. It's gonna work this time. So now I'm just gonna fill in the fresh oil. It does have a funnel. You can put in a, a bigger funnel, not to slip anything. It does not have a lot of space above, so I'm just gonna. No, it doesn't feel safe. Let me get a funnel. So here I have the funnel, I have the oil, and I have wipes just in case something goes wrong. And here it goes, 9.3 quarts. For those people who always ask on the forums what kind of oil you use, well, I'm just going to send this link. This is not a race car, just a pickup, so just you know. I've got a new neighbor, so... Fuck. Oh, that almost went south. I think this is better. Got this one on the Harbor Freight, I believe. There it is. 4.3 quarts. And I'm ready to go. Put the cap back on. Squeeze tightly. And you're good to go. That's it. That's how you change the oil on your 9 and 6 Boxster. A 9 and 7 roller too. So here you go. This is how you change oil on your 9 and 6 Boxster. Pretty simple. The only difficult part is you have to actually lift up the car and make it level like I did. That is a, the difficult part because the car is low, so you need to either have the ramps like that or put some wood under the front tires because that is the lower part than the back. The back is easier to lift. Uh, I will do the video on that one, how to lift up your Boxster a bit later. So for now this is it, I uh, hope you enjoyed and uh, stay tuned because next one I'm going to show you how to change the fuel filter. This is more difficult than this, what we just did. So stay tuned, see you next time, goodbye.